honoring a former student who gave the gift of life. Wyatt Williamson was a former football player at Martha Lane Collins High School in Shelbyville. He died in 2020 after an accidental overdose. Tonight, his entire football family honored the lives he saved with his organ donation. Gladys Batista was there for the ceremony. She joins us live now from our newsroom. Gladys, I'm sure it was a very emotional night. Yeah, that's exactly right, Vicki. Williamson was honored with a bench in his name during halftime at tonight's football game against Great Crossing High School. His mother was there alongside one of the recipients who received Williamson's kidney. They hope to spread awareness about the importance of organ donation, saying it can bring some light out of the most heartbreaking of situations. For nearly three years, Julie Hoffman has worked to introduce us all to her son, Wyatt Williamson. I was head over heels in love with my son. We were very close, and I can't just let him be gone. In April of 2020, at the age of 23, Wyatt died of an accidental overdose. He had taken a pill he believed was Xanax. In reality, it was laced with the powerful synthetic opioid fentanyl. Three seconds. In the time you take a sip of water and take a pill, you can be gone. It's that simple. That's what happened. But Hoffman's is making sure his story doesn't end there. Along with spreading the word about the dangers of synthetic drugs, Hoffman's Friday is focusing on the gift of life her own son gave with his death. So when Wyatt signed his license to be an organ donor, he was telling me right then and there he wanted to save lives. Surrounded by a football team all honoring Williamson. They all have black sweatshirts on that have Wyatt's number on the back, 71. Hoffman's stood alongside Chase Best, Williamson's kidney recipient. Meeting Julie is probably the best thing to happen for me personally and emotionally. You know, it, it, it's hard, you know, knowing she lost a son and I get to live. You know, it, it's not, it wasn't fair, but it's my purpose to be here now for her and help her through this. You know, I have my good days and I have my bad days. Today is a good day. With this bench presented to Williamson's family in his honor during halftime. And it ultimately, it just came down to how much he had given afterwards with the donor program and just how much he had meant to us. The family and all those here hope it can send the message to donate life. It costs nothing to sign up and you never know at what point in your life, maybe decades from now, that you'll be able to save a stranger, a family member, somebody you know, and they, that they may go on and, and go with their lives. And it helps Hoffman's go on too. And I think it's um, a really positive piece of, of the pie that is Wyatt, the many layers of Wyatt's story. In all, Williamson's organs and all of the other parts of his body that could be donated helped hundreds of people. Live in the newsroom, Gladys Bautista, WOKY News. Thank you, Gladys.